Okay, so the first thing to know is that the easiest way to access the contents of Journal of Experimental Psychology General is to use the UNSW library um, links for access. So what I am going to do is first look up the UNSW library website and go to their main homepage. So you can see uh, we've got a search bar here that allows us to search through the library collection. And so what I am going to do is search for the Journal of Experimental Psychology in general. I hit search. And we can see here that the top hit um, is what I'm looking for. It's the Journal of Experimental Psychology General. And because it says online, we can see that the um, we can access the contents of the journal online. Um, so it's important to make sure you have the right journal. Uh, so, for example, um, the Journal of Experimental Psychology have a bunch of different journals, such as General, Human Perception and Performance, Animal Learning and Cognition. So you want to make sure you're on the general one. Um, and you want to make sure you're on Journal of Experimental Psychology General. There are some similar sounding journals which are not the correct journal, such as the Journal of General Experimental Psychology. You don't want that one. Okay, so we found the link to the Journal of Experimental Psychology General. So I click on it. And this takes me to the places where I can um, view the full texts that are published in that journal. So I'm just gonna click on the first link and wait a moment while the, the journal page loads. Okay, so um, we've asked you to look for an article that was published in 2024. Uh, so I am going to click on um, 2024, the year 2024, in the uh, uh, the search bar at the side here. Now, the key things that you are looking for is you want to find an article that is of reasonable interest to you. Um, and that it's very important that the article presents either a t-test or a correlation analysis um, that you find interesting and you want to ask more questions about. So what we need to do is we need to start looking in journal articles that are published uh, in 2024 and see if they meet the criteria with regards to the tests that they're reporting. So let's try, I'm gonna go uh, to the September issue um, and have a look through the titles until I find one that I find interesting. Um, ooh. So I look a lit, lot at how learning impacts um, our ability to stay on task and not get distracted. So this uh, this article, Learning from Failure, the Roles of Self-Focused Feedback, Task Expectations and Subsequent Instruction, jumps out as interesting to me. So let's click on that. Okay, so we'll wait for the article to load. Um, now, what you need to do is find if there is a, a t-test or a correlation test in your chosen article that you're interested in. Um, and so you can read all of the results section, but I think a quick way to find an article that you actually want to work with is just have a search to see um, if it reports a t-test or a correlation analysis. So you'll know at least very quickly if you can use the article in your assignment. So the way I'm gonna do this is um, I'm gonna hit control F uh, and then um, we know when a t-test or a correlation test is reported, um, someone is, and you'll know this if you look at the online module of writing results section, someone will describe the difference between descriptive statistics that they found and then they'll port, report the result of the test with the um, letter that identifies the test, T or R, followed by the degrees of freedom in brackets. So a super quick way to find if this study reports a t-test would be to go control find, hit space, because there'll always be a space um, before the t when it's reported in the analysis, hit t. Obviously that's not gonna narrow things down much. There's gonna be lots of t's in this article. But then if I do open brackets, you can see this immediately takes me to where there's a t-test that's reported just as I said here. Um, I'm also going to look and see if this reports a correlation analysis. Uh, and it does. So I, looking, for example, at this correlation analysis, uh, so I'm highlighting this. Um, and this is the total amount that you would need to highlight 
um, as part one of your assignment. We're only looking for you to highlight the, the result of the specific test that you're gonna be referring to. Um, but obviously you would do it on the PDF that you're gonna upload with your assignment. Uh, and that's my Pomodoro timer going off. Um, okay, so uh, we can see here that um, higher ego threat was significantly negatively correlated with learning. So that tells me that the study is looking at um, people's sense of ego and whether it's threatened and how that impacts learning. And they're finding the higher the ego threat, um, the poorer the learning. So I'm now gonna think about that claim uh, and perhaps think of some situations where that may or may not be the case and think about an experiment I could design to test that um, using uh, a correlational or a t-test design. Okay, well, I hope that helps. Um, good luck with the assignment. I hope you um, enjoy the process of coming up with hypotheses and, and looking at the data to, to see if they are borne out or not.